JAMA Network. Lori Youssef had a normal pregnancy with her first child until the delivery. She was nine pounds, which is very large for a first baby, and it was a very difficult delivery. A year after, I could actually feel things physically drop. What Lori felt is called pelvic organ prolapse. The muscles that support the vagina and uterus weaken. The uterus can fall into the vagina and become visible near or outside the vaginal opening. To fix this problem, Lori underwent surgery like this at Loyola University Medical Center outside Chicago. Dr. Linda Brubaker and her team are performing one of two surgeries commonly used to correct the condition. These two operations, while widely performed, had never been directly compared. Dr. Matthew Barber from the Cleveland Clinic and co-authors examined surgical outcomes of 374 women. They either underwent surgery to secure the top of the vagina to a ligament on one side of the pelvis or to suspend the vagina to both sides of the pelvis. The women were followed for two years after the procedures. There was no difference in the outcomes, uh, both success and complications, between the two operations. Patients overall did well, with uh, less than 5% requiring additional treatment during the two-year follow-up period, and about 85% uh, being symptom-free. Symptoms can include pressure, pain, and urinary incontinence. The study appears in JAMA. Journal of the American Medical Association. Researchers also evaluated if doing pelvic muscle exercises would affect the outcomes. We looked to see whether a performing the exercises around the time of surgery would improve surgical outcomes, and, and uh, in this case didn't find that that helped. Lori's surgery was also successful. She now hopes other women who experience this problem will get help. The more women realize how common it is, the more they'll take action to do something about it. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.